glorified. Step in and, and just show us, oh God, and just be glorified in the name of Jesus. Now, Father, for these next few moments, as we collectively come to just uh, to, to worship together, to, to praise and to hear your word from Pastor Doc, we ask, oh God, that you'll bless the speaker, that you'll give him what to say, how to say it, that your name alone will be glorified and that the church of Jesus Christ, we in this little corner of the world will be, will be edified uh, so that we'll be more useful for the upbuilding of your kingdom. Lord, we love you. We pray for every family that's represented on this line in the name of Jesus. And thank you for the technology that allows us uh, during this deployment to be able to say, thank you, Lord, collect collectively. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. Praise the Lord, church. I'm going to be reading Psalm 146, 1 through 6. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, my soul. I will praise the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God as long as I live. Do not put your trust in princes and human beings who cannot save. When their spirit departs, they return to the ground. On that very day, their plans come to nothing. Blessed are those whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord their God. He is the maker of heaven and earth, the sea and everything in them. He remains faithful forever. May God add a blessing to the reading and the hearers of his word. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Uh, good, good morning. Well, actually, good afternoon to all the precious saints of God. Uh, we thank God for this another day the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. I thank God that we're still standing. Praise God. We're standing mm -hmm. on the promises of God. We're standing in faith. We're standing in obedience. We're standing in the natural because God has been good to us through all of this pandemic and all of the devastation and destruction around us. We're still here seeking and magnifying the name of the Lord. So we're so grateful for this opportunity again for the technology that will allow us to come together in fellowship. I thank God for the meeting greet this morning. So glad to see everyone is smiling faces and relaxed at home. What a blessing. Thank God for the prayer that's going forth and the reading of the scripture, the praise and worship. So I, I just can't wait to hear the word of God. The Lord blessed. I was able uh, through technology, I believe this time it was a, a Facebook messenger to share with my cousin's church down in Oak Mug, Oklahoma, to inspire that church on this morning. So we just thank God for all that he's doing. Remember, the greater the pressure, the greater the power. Let's be blessed. We have a wonderful day in the Lord. God bless you. <clears throat> Amen. Well, I still have the mic. I'd like to say also that our speaker for today is none other than Pastor Doc Barry. He's going to bless us with the word. We're just excited and we're praying for the man of God as he brings the word today. God bless. So Sister Amanda is going to share with us, um, the song is called I Believe, um, and it's by Jonathan Nelson, and it says, Jehovah, you, I trust in you, oh Lord, how many of us have put our trust in him, and so um, we are grateful that we serve a God of the universe, amen, and that's who our trust and our hope is built on, so as she sings, um, you Feel free to worship and sing along on mute while you're while you're in the privacy of your own home. Wave those blessed hands and glorify God. Amen. And then um, following that, she'll render a selection, um, one of three P's new favorites, who you say I am. Amen. And we just bless God, Sister Amanda. Amen. Hallelujah. Hey. Oh. 
you. I trust in you. Oh Lord, Jehovah, you. I trust in you. I believe, I believe you. I trust in you. Oh Lord, Jehovah, you. I trust in you. I believe, I believe you are the God of miracles. You are the God of wonders. You are the God of powerful. I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. Hey. I believe. Come on, put your hands together. Come on. Jehovah, you, I trust in you. Oh, Lord, Jehovah, you, I trust in you. I believe, I believe you, I trust in you, oh Lord, over you, I trust in you, I believe, I believe you are the God of miracles. You are the God of wonder. You are the God of powerful. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. Hey, now we're going to say goodbye to our troubles. Goodbye to our sorrows. Hey, but while you're at home, do your holy dance. Come on. Hey, hey. Here we go. We say so long. Bye-bye. So long. Bye-bye. So long, bye bye. Everybody say, so long, bye bye. So long, bye bye. Goodbye to my pain and my sorrow. So long, bye bye. Everybody say, everybody say, bye bye. Goodbye to my sorrow. Goodbye to my trouble. Goodbye to my sorrow. Everybody say bye bye. Goodbye fear. Bye bye. Everybody say bye bye. Goodbye y'all. Everybody say goodbye to my pain. Goodbye to my sorrow. Goodbye to my fear. Goodbye to my fear. You're not welcome here. Everybody say bye bye. Everybody say bye bye. Come on, put your hands. Everybody say bye bye. You say bye bye. Goodbye sorrow. Goodbye lack. Goodbye cancer. Goodbye pain. Goodbye sickness. Goodbye pain, goodbye sorrow. You're not welcome here. Everybody say bye bye. Hey, you are the God of miracles. Yeah. Oh, you are the God of oh, powerful. I believe. Said I believe. I believe. I believe, I believe, I believe. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. We are saying goodbye to our pain and goodbye to our sorrow because we believe and we trust in the power of God. We believe in the promises of God. And he is who he is and he is who we say we are. For he is the highest king and there is no one like him. Oh God, we love you. Hallelujah. Who am I that the highest king would welcome me? Who will welcome my sins? Sorry, you guys, I'm having some technical problems. One more time. Hallelujah. Who am I that the highest king would welcome me? I was lost, but he brought me Oh, his love for me. Oh, his love for me. Whom the sun sets free. Oh, his free. I'm a child of God, yes I am, in my father's house, there's a place for me, I'm a child of God, yes I am, free at last he has ransomed me. His grace runs deep. While I was a slave to sin, Jesus died for me. Yes, he died for me. Whom the Son sets free is free. I'm a child of God. Yes, I In my father's house, there's a place for me. I'm a child of God. Yes, I am. Who oh, the sun, whom the sun sets free, oh, is free indeed. I'm a child of God. Yes, I In my father's house, there's a place for me. I'm a child of God. Yes, I am. Yeah. You know, we're chosen and not forsaken. Hallelujah. chosen, not forsaken. I am who you say I am. I am chosen, not forsaken. I am who you say I am. We say I am chosen, not forsaken. I am who you say I am. You are, you are for me, not against me. I am who you say I am. I am, I am chosen, not forsaken. I am who you say I am. You are for me, not against me. I am who you say I am. Oh, I am who you say I am. Who the sun sets free. Oh, it's free indeed. I'm a child of God. Yes, I am. In my father's house, there's a place for me. I'm a child of God. Yes, I am. See with me. Whom the sun sets free is free 
am a child of God. Yes, I am. In my father's house, there's a place for me. I'm a child of God. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Amen, amen. Thank you, Sister Amanda. We're in the hands of Pastor Doc Dewberry. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we agree with the prayers that have gone forth and we ask that the Holy Spirit would rest, rule, and abide in the word of God today. We pray, Lord, that as we minister, that you would touch the hearts, that, uh, uh, that the message, Lord, that would touch the hearts of those that are hearing. And we'll give you honor, Lord, and we'll give you glory, and we'll give you praise. We, Father, we decrease while you increase. This is not about us. This is all about you. Help us to partner with you uh, to spread the word in the kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen. 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 Uh, this morning... Um, the message is entitled, Don't Give Up on God. Come on, somebody say it with me. Don't give up on God. On God. Hallelujah. My text is found in John 11, 20 and 23. And it says, now Martha, as soon as she heard that Jesus was coming, went and met him. Mama. But Martha was sitting, in, uh, but Mary was sitting in the house. Now, Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been there, my brother wouldn't have died. Let me stop here just for a moment. How many times all of us can think of a time that things would have been different had we introduced Jesus in the picture? Things would have turned around had we had introduced Jesus in the, in the middle of the situation. Amen? Verse 22 Amen. says, but even now I know that whatever you ask of God, God will give you. And Jesus said to her, your brother will raise and rise again. Let's back up a little bit. Let's find out what's, what this conversation was all about. What happened to Lazarus? Well, the Bible says that uh, Lazarus was sick. And as Jesus was ministering, he got word. Uh, uh, they didn't have uh, 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 telephones and texting and whatnot. There had to be a messenger that had went, took the time to go and tell, give the word to Jesus. John 11 and three says, therefore the sisters sent to him saying, Lord, behold, he whom you love is sick. I love a God that cares for his people. Jesus loved hanging out in Bethany with, with uh, Lazarus and Martha and Mary. And I just believe that uh, he enjoyed that time alone to be with his creation. Shows you that we have a, a caring God. It shows you that the Lord is touched with the things that touch us. The relationship had, had been built up into where that the word had got out that he was the one uh, that Jesus loved. And, uh, you know, I, 
you know, I think that term kind of went around a lot because even now is that sometimes uh, God doesn't have any favor, but we have, we, we feel like we, we can say that Jesus loves us. Amen. <laughs> Jesus, I'm the one that Jesus loved. I'm the one that, that, that Jesus cares about. Now, this situation happened. They were ministering uh, in the area in which uh, Lazarus and them live. It, it was about, uh, it was Bethany, but it was only about uh, two miles uh, east of Jerusalem. And that's where Jesus spent a lot of time with his friends, Lazarus, Mary, and uh, Martha. So when the sisters sent word to Jesus saying, behold, uh, 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 whom you love is sick. Have you ever been sick? Have you ever been sick and you, and you didn't know if you were going to make it? I can imagine that the, that the household was frantic because this was a different sickness. I believe that they knew this sickness was unto death. I know sometimes that uh, we have gotten sick. There are some times that there are things that have been overwhelming uh, to us. But I believe someone, uh, uh, even while things are getting over, that is overwhelming, there's always someone needs to be encouraged. And this, this afternoon, today, Lord, I, I'm speaking to someone that needs to be encouraged. I don't know what you're going through, but God knows what you're going through. Mary had to get a word out. Lazarus was sick. And so Mary had to get a word out that the one you love is sick. And so now it came to a part, it comes to a part to where that now it's in Jesus, it's in Jesus' hands. And so whoever it is out there that's dealing with some honorable problems, things that are just overwhelming to you. I know that we're all dealing with this uh 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 Epic, uh, um, epidemic, <laughs> pandemic. We're all dealing with this, but I, I just want to tell you that whatever it is that you're going through, whatever it is that is is pulling up, that's pulling on you, trying to get your attention. I want to say this morning, this afternoon, don't give up on God. Don't give up. Oh God, I don't care what it is. I don't go how difficult things can get. We're behind closed doors. We can't go anywhere. We can't hug our children. We can't visit our relatives. We can't, we can't do the things that we want to do. And sometimes that can be distressful. Sometimes that can get the best of us. But I'm here to tell you, don't give up on God. Maybe uh, you've been waiting for a long time. Well, whatever it is, the prayer that's gone through, I still encourage you, don't give up on God. There may be a time that you, 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 you spoke in faith and it hadn't come around yet. My suggestion is you need to stand and continually stand on the word of God. Stand this morning on the power and the word of what God says, not what I see, not what I feel or not what I say, stand on God's word. So when, uh, so when he heard that, when Jesus heard that Lazarus was sick, the Bible said that Jesus stayed two more days. <laughs> Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but if I would say 911, I got an emergency. And they say, yeah, what is your emergency? Well, we got some people in the house that's sick. Can you send help right away? I need some help over here. And the, and the operator said, yeah, they'll be out in two days. And he said, what? <laughs> Jesus hung out two more days. Two more days. Uh, John eleven six 6 says, so when he heard that he was sick, he stayed two more days in the place where he was. Two more days. Jesus delay said a couple things to me. Really, it underscored 
what he was, what he had been talking about consistently in his ministry, namely that his marching orders wasn't coming from close by friends, people that he loved. His marching orders were coming from the Father. Jesus had a mission. Jesus had to minister to the people where he had. He only had a, a, a certain amount of time to left uh, that he could be able to do the job that God had sent him. Jesus was on task. Jesus knew exactly what it is that he was doing. So Jesus said to the disciples, after two days, after two days, he says, well, you know, uh, Lazarus is sick. Let's go and see what's going on with Lazarus. And so the Bible said that Jesus said he slept. And the disciples were kind of confused. They said, well, what do you mean? If he's sleeping, that means he's going to be well. You know how disciples are. Jesus, in the midst of training them and teaching them kingdom purposes, and he under he did, you know, said he had to train them because once he went away, that uh, Peter and John, those are the ones that would stand strong in the power of the face. And so Jesus was on a mission. Jesus was on a training mission. And so he had to sometimes just say things plainly. Okay, he ain't sleep. Lazarus did. Okay, well, let's go see uh, about our friend uh, Lazarus. How many know that <laughs> he may not come when you want him? <laughs> oh, but, but he's always on time. A lot of times people may be crying out, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, help me. I need help. Somebody help me. This thing is heavy. And Jesus, where are you? Sometimes we just, we say, Lord, I prayed this prayer. This is not the third week I'm praying this prayer. And that's when back in the day, see, when we came up uh, in church and the saints would pray and they would be praying and praying and and the little young ones would say, you know, ain't nothing happening. Ain't nothing going on. What's going on? Where's Jesus? And the old saints and the old mothers would say, that's all right. <laughs> he may not come when you want him, but he was always on time. Jesus is always on time. So I don't want you to give up. Whatever it is that you, you, you're having troubles with, whatever it is that you're dealing with, it seems unsurmountable. Whatever things that you're going through, somebody need to listen to this right now. Somebody need to get this in their spirit. Somebody need to say, wait, is he talking to me? God is saying, don't give up. I don't know what it is. I ain't trying to read your mail, but God knows exactly what you need and when you need it. So I'm saying to you this morning, God's talking to you this morning. Don't give up on God. Don't give back, give up on God. Now, on the way back, uh, talking from Lazarus, I'm going on third point here. Lazarus uh, is dead. And so on the way back, Jesus just told the disciples, you know, Larry, uh, Lazarus died. Okay. We're on the way back. This is, this is going, somebody, somebody's going to get some glory out of this. So, John eleven fourteen, 14, and Jesus said to them plainly, uh, Lazarus is dead. Lazarus was in the grave at this point, four days, four days. How long have some of us uh, been waiting on our prayers? How long have some of the things that we have prayed for have been dead? How long some of those things that you put before God and you say, Lord, I need, I need your help on this. Lazarus was in the grave for four days. I'm saying this morning or this afternoon uh, that a lot of things that are dead in our lives are weighing us down. We need to get to a point to where that no matter what is going on, that we're not going to uh, give up on God. Well, I don't know. The relationship that I'm in right now, it's getting a little rocky. I don't know that the relationship that I'm in now is going to be able to stay the course. 
I don't know that uh, the job that uh, I've had for so many years after this pandemic, I don't know if I'm going to have anything when <laughs> I get back or this gets over. I don't really know, Lord, uh, what I'm going to do when all this stuff blows over. My thing is, what you should do is don't give up on God. Don't give up on God. Don't give up. Jesus is a resurrection, is a resurrection God. Not too many uh, weeks uh, before this, we talked about uh, uh, Easter, the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. He's the resurrection. He, he rose. He, he rose with death and the keys of death in his hands. I'm telling you that whatever it is that that's holding you down uh, this uh, this afternoon, whatever is going on in your life that you don't think you can can get by, I'm telling you that Jesus can resurrect those dead things that are just hanging around. Martha said, "Lord, if you had been here." my brother wouldn't have died. John eleven twenty one 21 says that, Lord, if you had been here, my brother wouldn't have died. See, Martha didn't know who the God, <laughs> who the God she was talking about evidently because she was looking at it, well, if you had been here, it wouldn't have happened. God is the creator of heavens and earth. He knows things before it even happens. He's the alpha and he's the omega. He's the beginning, uh, he's the end. Whatever it is that you're going through now, he's already worked it out. Somebody need to, to listen up here this afternoon. God has already worked those things out in your life. He wants to resurrect that dead thing. So when Jesus got a hold of this and talking to Martha, he said, Martha, I got this. Martha, he's going to live again. He's telling Martha all along what's going to happen. But Jesus, Martha was just saying, well, Lord, if you hadn't been here, if you hadn't been here, I know, I know uh, uh, that he'd have still been alive. And Jesus said to her, did I not say to you that if you would believe you would see the glory of God. Somebody out there needs to realize that Jesus has been talking to you all along. Jesus said that he'll never leave you nor forsake you. Jesus has already paid the price. Jesus is telling you, I got this. I've already supplied the answer. Why? He is the answer. Jesus is the answer. So when this happens, he was trying to tell Martha, look, Martha, say, if you would just believe, you would see the glory of God. Those of us that are going through some difficult times, if we would just hold on just a little bit longer, and you're going to be able to see the glory of God. Don't give up. Don't get, don't, don't, don't allow anxiety uh, to take control of your life. You just get into the good part. Jesus says there's some glory in it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Don't you want God to get some glory? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory, glory, glory. God needs to get all of the glory. So it might be a little tough on us. It might be like, well, you know what? I wanted it yesterday, but Lord, since you say it's going to give you some glory, I think I can wait it out a little. <laughs> Hallelujah. I know my, my relationship ain't what it's supposed to be, but Lord, if, if you say it's going to be all right, I think I can stick in it a, a little bit longer. I think I'll be all right because now we talking about glory. Hallelujah. Not my glory. Your glory. God said that if I be lifted up, hallelujah, he ain't talking about us. We said, oh, my poor problems. Oh, woe is me. Oh, I don't know if I can make it. Oh, I'm going to cash in my chips. 
Oh my goodness. I just, Lord, help me, help me. Oh, but don't you want some glory this morning? Jesus said, if I be lifted up. See, we got to get focused, refocus on who it is that we're serving. We got to look at the situation the way God looks at the situation. We got to see the impossible as though it is. We got to call those things that are not as though they are. We got to stand strong on the power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let nothing, the height nor depth, there is nothing. You can go anywhere on this earth, but you cannot <laughs> go anywhere that Jesus is not. God is here and he is here. So do not say it with me. Don't give up on God. Come on, y'all. <laughs> Hallelujah. Don't give up on God. Some of those things that you're dealing with, some of those things that you're going through, it ain't there to, to, to destroy you. It's there to make you stronger. How would you know that you know that you know if you don't allow God to, to stretch you a little bit? stretch you a little bit, get it. Oh, Lord, it hurts. But you know what? I know that you're going to get glory out of it. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. We Amen. need to be refocused. We need to keep our eyes on the Lord because, you, <laughs> because if we keep our eyes on the Lord, you'll see his glory. If we keep our eyes on the Lord and lift him up, he will begin to draw all men on the, we're just pieces, we're pawns being used so uh, it can extend the, the, the uh, God's kingdom. Don't you want the kingdom of God to be extended? Don't you want people to be healed? Don't you want people to be saved? This is one way that we can do it. Jesus said, Martha, 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 <laughs> uh, didn't I say to you that if you would believe that uh, you would see the glory of God? Hallelujah. Jesus said, let's go down to the tomb. Let's go down and see where Lazarus is at. Let's go down and see what it's all about. Hallelujah. So when they got there, uh, there was a stone. And, uh, <laughs> there was an obstacle uh, in the way. How many of us that when we finally get to a place that we feel like we can believe in God, that there's an obstacle, there's something in my, there's something in my way, Lord, <laughs> something is in my way, something is stopping me from a blessing. So Jesus said in John 11, 41, it says that, that when they took away the stone, from the place where the dead man is lying. And Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, thank you that you have heard me. Give, Jesus is giving an example for us. Jesus knew that he did nothing without conferring with the Lord. We should be the same way. Whatever it is that we're going through, the difficulties that we're dealing with, the hurts, the pains, uh, uh, the suffering, Whatever it is that we're going through, we need to stand fast on the word of God. We need to bring God into the picture. Lord Jesus, you see what I'm going through. Lord Jesus, you know what I'm dealing with. Lord, I have to have the right answers at the right time. I'm trusting and I'm going to believe in you. Father, I thank you. He says that you have heard me. And so John 11, 42, it says then, and I know that you always hear me, but, uh, but because of the people, <laughs> because of the people who are standing by, I say this, that they may believe that you sent me. Oh, my problems are hard. They're difficult, but but when God comes down and heals, when God comes in, in the midst of our trouble, 
what a testimony it is for those that are standing around, those naysayers, those people that say, I ain't going to get well, those naysayers say, y'all, he, 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 he ain't going to make it. But I say to you in the name of Jesus Christ, believe on the one that's sinning. Believe on the one that has, uh, 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 has the authority over all. 43rd verse says, now, now when he had said these things, he cried out with a loud voice. Now watch it. You're talking about the power of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is the power. This is that, you know how they say in the word of God, it says that the same power that is, that is in uh, 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 Jesus, that raised Jesus from the dead, dwells in your mortal bodies. This is the power we're about to see about now. This is the, this is, this is the power, the same power, you know, saying that uh, raised Jesus is that same power that's going to be working in your life. Jesus said, and he cried out, he said, and he cried out uh, uh, with a, a loud voice. <laughs> so this thing, this thing gets, this thing is getting deep. He said, he cried out with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. Now, I don't know about you, but the God I serve, if he wouldn't have said Lazarus, I don't know how many dead folks would have got up and started walking around. If he didn't call him by his name, I don't know that they would have probably, it would have entered into the Bibles about all of the uh, uh, dead folks that was raised. But he said, Lazarus, hallelujah. Aren't you glad that he knows your name? Aren't you glad that it, you're not just one person in a crowd? Aren't you glad that you're not all by yourself in this world? He knows you by your name. So when you are sick, when you are dealing with problems, when you are, are, are at your wit's end, we believe and we trust in a God that knows us by our names. He'll call you by your name and say it is done. He, he'll, he'll call you by your name and says, I have this. Don't worry about this. He'll call you by your name and he says, you know, this, this, this will not uh, kill you. This will make you strong. Jesus calls him by his name. And he had, uh, <laughs> the Bible says that when he calls him by his name, let's see what happened. What kind of a God are we serving here this afternoon? Is he a powerful God? Is he a powerful God? Amen. 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 He's a powerful God. He's, he's the God of all. He flung the stars in the sky. He, he, he created uh, the universe. We serve a powerful God. In the 44th verse, it says that, and he who had died four days Four days, he said, roll the stone away. Martha said, wait a minute, hold up. He said, Lord, he's been in there four days. Now, you know, if you've been there four days, it might be a little stench. Martha, Martha said, let's be real about this. Four days. They didn't have no embalming. They didn't have the things that we we're working with right now. It took four days uh, uh, and still in, in Martha's heart, a lot of times, uh, uh, Things that we deal with have gone past the limit. You know, if you have an old uh, 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 carton of milk in the refrigerator and it's gone past the days, you got to get rid of it. You got to get it out of there. And sometimes we have things in our life that it has, has spoiled. Some of the things in our life have, has died and, 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 and are stinking. And Martha said, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> He's been there four days. Jesus... <laughs> Jesus said, Lazarus, <laughs> Lazarus, come forth. And the Bible says that in he who had died came out bound hand and foot uh, with grave clothes and his face was wrapped with a cloth. And Jesus said to them, loose him, hallelujah, loose him. Is there anybody this afternoon that needs to be loosed? Oh, come on, y'all. Y'all are awful quiet. Anybody this afternoon uh, uh, still got your grave clothes on? <laughs> come on. Jesus has called you forth. 
Jesus said, come out. <laughs> Jesus said, be loosed. Amen. Sometimes Amen. when you when you get loose, sometimes you still got the old grave clothes on. You still got those 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 strings that were attached. You're still uh, uh, in, in in bondage. There's, there's some things that needs to be taken loose. And Jesus said, "Loose him! <laughs> Come on, loose him! Hallelujah! Loose him and let him <laughs> let him go." Don't you know? Don't you love a God that be, you know saying that can loose your infirmities? And don't have a God that will keep you uh, that when all else has failed, that he's strong enough to loose those bonds in you. Hallelujah. God wants to loose you and those things that you thought was dead in your life. Come on, I'm going to say that again. God wants to loose you and those things that you thought were dead in your life those things that you have been praying for, those things that you think would never happen, those things that you had given up on, those, those healings, that, that, that healing that you thought that, well, it, it ain't come now, I guess it ain't gonna come. My advice to you is you don't give up on God and God won't give up on you. Say it with me, come on. Don't give, don't up, give on up on God. God. Don't give and up on God. Won't give, give up, up on you. Give up on you. you. Give up on you. Let Amen. me give you a testimony. A testimony as I close. This is a story about a young lady who was diagnosed with nasal pharyngeal um, carcinoma, stage four cancer. Come on, y'all. Her treatments consist of chemotherapy, IMRT radiation therapy, and proton therapy. She had 33 rounds of IMRT radiation therapy, five days a week for 45 minutes for each treatment. The treatment caused nausea. Y'all <laughs> listening to me that the treatment caused nausea, vomiting, muscle weakness, loss of taste, could not swallow, could not talk, lost her hearing in the bottom portions of her hair. She also had a feeling, a feeding tube in her stomach. She was in and out of the hospital for three months. On her best days, her best days was when Three P's, Christian fellow, uh, three, three P's, church family came to visit her in the waiting room. They were able to have conversations and prayers. That's a good time. Her mm -hmm. bad time was having treatment every day. She found strength and support in her mom, her dad, her brother, and her sister, and her awesome Mother Camille, Godmother Camille, and her church family. Her final treatment day consisted of chemotherapy, IMRT radiation, proton treatment. She now belongs to support groups. After her journey, she was found that she had a better mindset and she was able to tell her story. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but somebody ought to unmute their mics and give God some glory and Amen. honor for Sapati Marie Tua. Oh, Amen. Give up on God. Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We didn't give up on God. You shouldn't give up on God. Give Amen. all glory to us. God the Father. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Praise God. It's Praise God. Woo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a powerful word. Amen. Thank Amen. you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Pastor Doc, for such a powerful word this morning, this afternoon. Don't give up on God. <laughs> he won't give up on you. Amen. You may give up on old right. car. You might give up on old bicycle. 
but don't give up on God. He'll come through. Somebody said he'll show up and he'll show out. Praise God. So we thank Amen. God. Thank God for Jesus. He's never lost a battle. There's the, in him, there is no failure. So we can trust him regardless of what the situations is. Yeah. Praise God. I remember I'm reminded before we pray that uh, when Moses and the children of Israel at the Red Sea, things were looking real bleak. Water in front of them and the enemy behind them. But God said, you know what? The enemy that you see today, you'll see no more forever. Praise God. And God opened up the Red Sea and the children of Israel went across on dry ground. Don't give up on God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God. Amen. Thank God for the word. We're praising God for what he's done. He is doing and has done in Sapati's life. Thank you, Jesus. She's been an example for each one of us. And so this condition, this situation, this pandemic that we're in now, we'll see it no more forever. God's going to dry it up. We're going to be back in fellowship together one more time. So we praise God on today. Amen. If you would bow your heads with me, if we would join our hearts and our minds together in prayer. Father God, we just thank you for the word. Thank you for your word on this day. Thank you for your word admonishing us, encouraging us not to give up on you, God. You, you never gave up on us. When we were lost in our sins, Lord Jesus, you took us in. And we want to say thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. God, I pray that this word that went forth on today has touched someone's heart, has given someone more determination a little more faith, a little more trust in the Lord to hold on to God's unchanging hand and to see the salvation of the Lord. So, Father, we thank you right now. We pray, oh God, that in this time that we're living in, that you will continue to bless your people. You are Jehovah Jireh. You are the Lord God who provides for us everything that we need. David said, I once was young. But now I'm old and I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor a seed begging bread. God, I pray that you will continue to bless these, your people. In the refrigerator and in the cupboards, oh God. Keep us free and covered with your blood. Don't allow the virus to come near us in the name of Jesus. And so, Father, we're praying for those who have been affected and infected and have and those family members who have lost loved ones, we pray today. We come together collectively, asking you, God, to have mercy. Stretch out your hand of peace and comfort, Lord. Instill hope in someone's mind on today. In the name of Jesus, we thank you and we praise you, Lord God. You've been good to us. You've been better to us than we've been to ourselves. And we want to say thank you, God. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mighty outstretched hand. Thank you, Father God, for pouring your spirit down within us. You haven't given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. God, we say thank you. You gave us the ability to lay hands on the sick and they'll recover in your word in the name of Jesus. God, we bless you. We praise you. Bless your people, oh God. Those who feel as though they're being closed in and the walls are closing in on them. God, free them up. Free, up. free us up in our hearts and our minds and our spirit to know that this too will pass. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. God, I pray that you'll continue to bless these, your people, in our homes and in our relationships within our homes, that families will be become stronger. We will become more familiar and solid and rooted and grounded in your word. That we will come together and pray together and honor you and worship you, Lord God. We won't give up on you today. We won't give up on you ever. You said when we've done all to do to stand, stand some more. So God, we're standing and not just standing in our own strength, but we're standing on holy ground. And we're believing you and we're trusting in you, Lord God. So we ask you just to have your way, save the unsaved, bring the backslider home, solidify your people this day. 
we thank you for it in the name of Jesus. So Father, we just pray today that as, as we close out in this service today, thank you for everything that our eyes have seen and our ears have heard. Thank you for pricking our hearts, oh God. Thank you for touching us and letting us know how great you are. Let your glory be revealed in the name of Jesus. So Father, we pray over the tithes and offering on today. We pray for all those who are yet doing and giving to the upbuilding of your kingdom. We pray, oh God, that you would bless every resource that come into the house of the Lord, that it may go forth toward the upbuilding of your kingdom. We thank you. We praise you in the name of Jesus. And so, Fathers, we're closing out. We pray for Elder Warren. He's not feeling good in his body on today. We pray, oh God, that you would touch him from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. Father, we pray for Sister Carolina. We pray for her entire family in the name of Jesus. We pray for the saints of God everywhere. Sister Deborah Ogain, God. Everyone on our list. <laughs> See name by name. Won't you stretch out your hand, loose us, and let us go. We bless you. We praise you in Jesus' name. And all the saints of God, this unmuted, say amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Praise amen. the Lord. Amen. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. Amen. When all the gods get together, what a time, what a time, what a time. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We're praying. We believe in God, saints. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you all. Bless you all. God bless. Have a good Thank you all. God bless you. Yeah, Pastor Doc. Thank you for that word. Thank you. Amen. We receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Hi, Carolina. <laughs> Hi, Dolores. Hi, how are you doing, Janet? <laughs> God bless you guys. Thank you. Help Mama Lee. Mm -hmm. Is still there? <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. There's Mother, there's Mother Lee. Hi. Where, Hi, Mother Lee. Where is Mama Lee? Hey, Mother Lee. Yeah. Where is she? <laughs> How you doing, Mother? We love you. Yeah, I can hear you. Huh? Mother Lee. <laughs> oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Pepper said thank you for her. Uh, birthday card, a uh, three P's. <laughs> All right, you're welcome. Beautiful. Happy birthday coming up. Well, Hi, Mama well, Lee. Be, 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 be blessed. God bless all of you. Sandy. You too. God bless. God bless you. God bless you. There's Brother Peter here. Hey, hey Peter. Peter. <laughs> <laughs> what a message. That, that touched my heart. Oh, Good. Praise God. Praise God. Praise Love God. You, Mother Lee, we love you. See you, Pepper. Oh, there she is. Hi, Mama Lee. Hey, Pepper. Hi. Hey, Pepper. Hi. Love you. Praise God. Praise God. Hey, Pepper, you Hi, see, I got. Hi. Hi. <laughs> wake up. Pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> This Maria, your 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 microphone is muted. We can't hear Mother Lee. Hi, Mama Lee. Mother Lee, tell take and tell Maria to un, uh, un uh, Oh, there you go. There you go. Now we hear you. Say something, Mother Lee. Yes. Say something. Yeah, we hear you now, Mother. Oh, you hear me now? I hear yes. You. Yes. All right.